Hi guys, I'm Sheldine and today's tutorial is going to be about how I draw white fur. Uh, I'll give you a demonstration of how to draw straight fur, wavy fur and curly fur. Um, something I want you to keep in mind is have a look at some reference photos of animals with white fur and try and see how much of that animal is purely white. I'll try and show you a couple of examples. This is Fonto, he's my first white fairy drawing. And on the top left is his reference photo. And circled in red are the areas that are completely white, or almost completely white. Uh, it's only four small little areas, so every other area has colour. Fonto is actually very white, but because of the lighting in his photo, he looks a little more golden. Uh, I took this into consideration when drawing him, so I didn't add too much of the yellows. That's why the actual drawing is whiter than the reference. I did the same for Namira, the Pyrenees pup. Uh, in the reference photo, there are three areas that look to be completely white. Every other area of her has a different colour. And due to the reflection of the indoor lighting in the photo, she has more of the warmer colours in her photo. And my final example is of Peerless, another Pyrenees mountain dog drawing. And you can see in the reference photo that cooler colours are being reflected off of him because the photo was taken outdoors on a beautiful snowy day. He is a very white dog and the viewer can see he's very white even though just about every inch of him has colour. So an important point to remember is that even though you are not drawing in white, you are giving the illusion that what you are drawing is very white. So for the materials that I have used, um, I used the Fabiano sketching paper, some of Faber-Castell's Polychromos pencils, some of Prismacolor's Premier pencils, a Jelly Roll pen and Art Spectrum's Odolent Solvent for blending. You'll hear me say a um, medium tone pencil a few times in this tutorial and my medium tone pencil is mainly the warm grey one number 270. The cinnamon and the light flesh is predominantly the background colours but will be gently added into the main subjects as well. The white jelly roll pen is for adding the tiny highlights in the eyes and speckled spots around the noses. The white Prismacolor pencil is very opaque and will be used throughout the tutorial. To start off the tutorial, I'm going to draw three little cartoon type dogs, I guess you can say, <laughs> each with white fur. The first drawing being straight fur, the second being wavy white fur, and the third being curly white fur. On the top, on the phone, you can see a snapshot of straight white fur. Now notice that not much of the hair is dark white. There's a lot of grey tones, even a bit of reddish and yellowish tones in it as well. So I start this by taking a warm grey, so it's not too dark and it's not too light. And I just fill in some streaks of colour to show the direction of the hair and also streaks that have darker darker values. I apply pressure for areas that I'd like a little darker. I don't use a darker grey until later unless I know that area is going to have quite a value to it. So I keep adding these streaks of colour I add whites, I add the light browns, I add the cool greys, and on occasion you'll see I add a dark grey for those areas that are kind of under the fur. I then use odorless paint thinners with a paintbrush, brush all over to blend the colour into the paper, and this also allows me to keep adding additional layers on the top. The white Prismacolor pencil is very opaque, so if you apply enough pressure with that pencil on the paper, other colours don't sit on it as well, and this can be very beneficial when drawing white fur, because you can put the white streaks down beforehand, knowing that other colours aren't going to sit on top of it. So to make it look super hairy, go ahead and take the opaque pencil, and draw over the entire area with it and then you could 
add pressure to the in-between areas um, with the darker values. So you'll often see that I take the brush and paint over the area, which blends it more into the paper and allows me to keep layering and layering. So I'll keep using those light colors and I'll continue to do this a number of times until there's enough value and enough depth. But remember not to go too dark and just keep layering with the lighter colors because the more you build them up, the more you will see it. If you use colors too dark, it's very difficult to make it lighter. Uh, I also add a bit of pinkish and yellowish hues. Uh, the background is going to be a pink, pinkish kind of color. So the background colors always reflect in the colors of your main subject. So remember to add them in very lightly. They'll make it very obvious. You'll notice in the end, even though I'm using the pinks and the yellows, in the background and in the main drawings, um, you won't actually see those colors in the end. But if you don't use those colors in there, you will notice it in the end because it will just look too different to the background and it wouldn't seem as if it would fit as well. So there I am again, just layering with the brush now I'm taking the darker grey to add the really dark areas um, to give it a little more depth. I'm putting a little shadow around him, um, also just to create a sense of depth. Um, to make it seem a little more three dimensional. Under the chin is usually quite dark and between the eyes and under the eyes as well. So I later focus on these areas. I've got the main kind of furry colour down. Now it's just trying to make it look a little more real and a little more three dimensional. So this is a darker grey. shadows. I'm sure you can kind of tell that the top left hand side is where the light source is. So remember to keep in mind where the light is coming from. And areas that don't receive as much light will obviously have the darker values and more shadow. I've got a white gel pen um, which you can always use in the end to add the really white little spot. Make sure it dries properly because it would smudge. And use that right at the end because it doesn't look very good when you try and draw over that. <laughs> now that it's pretty much getting to the end stages of doing this little drawing, um, you fill in all the finishing touches and I'm using quite a warm dark grey um, to just make the shadow bits even darker. Um, I'm focusing more on the areas that are on the right because these areas aren't receiving as much light as the left side. thinking like this doesn't look like a white fairy dog it looks more like a, a gray one but once I fill in the background you'll notice that it will pop out a little more and it will seem like a white dog and with those other drawings that I showed you as examples in the beginning of the video um, all of those went through the same process of layering and layering and layering until you eventually get to the right color that you want I just want to emphasize the point that not every single inch of a white fairy dog is going to be white. So I guess that's the main focus of this tutorial is to show you that there's a lot of color regardless of the dog being white. 
there's a warmer color getting added in as well. Um, just some of the pink in the background. So these colors also get put into the main subject. Um, I just like them. Um, it just makes the whole image blend together more realistically. Okay, starting with the wavy hair. Uh, it's exactly the same concept as the straight hair, except that it's wavy. So again, I just take the medium tone on my warm grey pencil and create little curly, straggly little bits. Um, these bits would be the shadowed areas uh, of the curl. Um, it just gives the illusion that what you're doing is is wavy and a little bit messy. It's all the same concept. It's very much about layering and just building up on those lighter tones of grey. about creating those shadows, adding in a little bit of colour and do it gradually and slowly and just keep building up and building up and building up until you get where you want to go. So with the little reference photo there on the phone, um, I'm not drawing it exactly the same but it just shows you how many shadows, shadowed areas there are. And those are the areas you put down first. And just make sure you always go in the direction of what you're drawing. And just continue to layer on top of those, those strands and those curly directions and just build up on that continuously. There's no strict method to doing any of this. Everyone has their own style and their own way of working. Um, I'm just showing you what I do with the curl. Again, just creating your shadow. Make it stand out a little more. Also, the contrast in the background makes them pop out a little more and also makes them seem lighter. Adding a bit of the pink in there as well because there are colours in the background. Blending it again with all my paint thinners. And there you have it. Now this is the, the final one with a really curly white fur. And this kind of fur you'll generally find on Maltese or Toy Poodle. And um, what I'm doing is using the medium tone pencil and just creating little circles everywhere, all around the entire, entire drawing. And then I take the darker tone and try and create little shadows in between those circles. Careful not to go overboard because this is where it can get really easy to make it too dark. So gradually do that. And then take your lighter tone and go and do little circles like that all over the entire thing again. Because it's opaque, at least there will be a lot of lighter bits sticking out when you blend it with the paint thinners. And then just continue to layer like that, gradually adding shadow in areas. And always going in 
circles because you join really curly hair. It's always about the direction. So always keep the direction of the design right and curly hair. It's like a little illusion of what you want. So with this one, I'm drawing circles everywhere and it gives the illusion of being curly hair. Now this is not as detailed as it would be in the realistic drawings. It'll take far longer and way more layering and a fair few more colors as well. But this gives you the idea of how I start and the concept of just layering these colors all the time until you get to where you want to be. So I could have added a lot more detail to this to make it look more real and more three-dimensional but for the sake of the tutorial I just wanted to state um, how I start and how I will gradually just continue with, with building up on layers. So overall, use a medium tone pencil to the areas that have a darker value and build your layering around those areas of shadow. Continue to layer and remember to always draw in the direction of the fur. The straight fur will go in the direction of top to bottom. The wavy fur will go in the direction of waves, almost like drawing S's. And the curly fur is going in the direction of multiple circles. Take note of your reference and see what the darkest pieces are and see where the lightest pieces are. Always observe what you are drawing. You should be looking at your reference photo constantly, especially if you are aiming to draw realistically. Remember to add the colours in the background into your main subject and take your time. Be patient. Keep practicing and the improvement will be incredible. I hope this helps you a little. I have <laughs> very little experience in creating tutorials, so if there is something else that you would like me to add that you think would be beneficial to you and others, then uh, let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know if there are any other topics that you would like me to discuss. I'm sure as time progresses, I'll be able to improve my tutorials, but just like you, I will not practice. <laughs> um, I've also provided a written version of this tutorial in my blog. The link will be below, along with another link to all the other white fairy animals that I have drawn. But for the moment, I thank you for watching and sincerely hope that you were able to take something useful away from this tutorial. So all I have left to say is bye for now and happy drawing! <laughs>